I think we should introduce it. Thank you. I think we should introduce it um, and then make one of these sound effects. Okay. Let's see you later. And, and um, so this is yapping, right? It's going to be yapping right at the table. Mm -hmm. You're, you're just frame. saying yes. Are we talking? Not yet. We're not And you're out of the frame. I'm saying fucking words to you right now. Okay, Please. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop you hearing them. Just ask me again. Seriously. What was it? I'm so sorry. I'm so noisy right now, and I'm so annoyed. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not a good About how we're gonna open this okay, little yes. ditty, and using one of these things to get there. Excellent. But Do you have a is this yapping, or is it at the table? Is it? We should be starting right now. I'm gonna slate, okay. and um, and you will introduce yourself, and then I'll introduce me as whatever. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I don't know. Here. And uh, actually, I talked over it. Do that. And this is Yapping with Terry and Boner. <laughs> right here. Yeah. It's the um, it's the culmination of weeks of, of attempting to put our podcast together. Right. So this would be really cool if this was our actual introductory. Here we go. We're gonna put this one up. Come hell or high water. Episode one, season one. We're launching into the universe. <laughs> Yep. And that's great. All right. I think we go for it mm -hmm. from right here. Right okay. Now. Sounds good to me. Um, now we just got to figure out how to Sounds legitimate. Sounds really good to me. Where's the applause? Right up. Uh, I don't know. Right there, audience. It should say applause. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Welcome yeah. to our new program. Yeah, so the next thing we need is a band button. <gasps> oh, that's right. Right, we can have the intro oh, music play for us. If we bought that, if we upgraded the app, um, which we should probably actually uh, promo the app that we're using. Which is? I don't know. What? Well, I'd have to close it to figure it out. <laughs> and then you have to go through, because it's free, we have to go through all the junk oh, to the hoops, Oh, yeah, I forget right? that. Um, but um, anyway, maybe, oh, you could check... <gasps> I don't know, you might not want to put that there. We'll put it, actually, if we do this right, it would be in the sec we, description, we'll tell you who this app is, Yeah. and then you can go... Because that's fun. And we get $5 for every app that's purchased from this company. They're sending us $5. They don't know that yet. yet. <laughs> but they're now under contractual that's obligation. That's funny. Um, anyway, so... Uh, I actually want to pursue the question that I thought of last time we talked. Which was? Um, to getting the ball rolling is like, so uh, what's on your mind, Terry Edmonds? Well. <laughs> right, that's a good question. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, I wasn't prepared for that, so. <laughs> that's okay. So you know, just... What's on my mind would be this blog and how it's going to turn out. Actually, it was the next segment of the blog. That's all you thought about all week? No, that's what I was thinking about right there. You said, what's on mm, my mind? Oh, right. I oh, I'm sorry. I considered it present tense. I have a multi-dimensional <laughs> mind. So I was thinking any that's number funny. of things at the same time. Uh, yeah, so I'd say things that happened this week, which is part of this blog, uh, podcast, is... Um, blogging and podcasting. I mean, that's a big part of my life. So I do you think have to take extra time. fiber to like actually blog and podcast? <laughs> to, like, really let it out. I just know that it takes a lot of time. It's a lot of uh, effort, actually. It is like, a lot. Just distributing is um, uh, quite a challenge. Mm -hmm. It's a, like a little mini career to learn how to distribute it properly, actually. Yeah, I just want to get paid. I want to make money. Um, and I have not yet registered my first cent. I know it's coming, mm. but I just decided, you know, that's, I check it all the time. So I'll announce it here when I make my first. You mean then it's steamroll. To be clear, Woo! you're talking about your YouTube channel my has YouTube yet channel. to uh, make hey. any, any money. But you have actually still yet pretty low numbers relative to what I've YouTube 10, is looking for. I've had 10,000 views since September of 
last year, that's September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Eight months, 10,000 views. And, and however, it's really about the um, people letting the ads play and the click through that where that's the right. money comes in. And I will say at least that's measurable advertising. Right. I mean, there's still some statistics there. Now it's just a matter of refining it, right? That's what you've been doing. Well, I know I have directly marketed to 10,000 people over the last how many months? Whereas if I bought an ad in a newspaper or a magazine mm. or on radio, you don't know. This is repeating. It's always out there. You can say anything about yourself. You can do product placements. You can refresh it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very interesting. So, in that sense, it's paying for itself. But you want the magic of the return on I, the, the I want, thing. I right? imagine. And everybody imagines that, though, that they that they get that return. A monetary. Quickly. Well, you know, my friend Video Joe did, and and my other girlfriend, but they came in about three years ago, and they are collecting big checks. These checks, I mean, they get paid a lot every single month. So I have two witnesses physically that I know that it I works. wonder how quickly they got a return on their, like, I mean, did their first 10,000, did they see how much dollars? It started with like 200. That's what Video Joe will tell his story, that he's... It was 200 like, views? No, no, no. Money? No, but his first check was like $200. Uh -huh. And then he got something oh, but else. That, how, when did that come in? After 200,000 views? A year or later. I can more. I can judge it in time because I know about his, his a, time. But that doesn't really... Yeah, right. So it says in one year he was making significant payback. What was his coding to the video... Um, you know, what were the keywords? Which so is how what, long have you had your channel going? Eight months. And the demo, I've looked at the demographics. I've looked at which ones. DIY, DIY Birkenstock shoe repair, DIY Allen Edmonds shoes. Both of those have had super high ratings, five times the other videos. Why do you think those have really? Well, I think it's shoe repair. That's key. People are putting in shoe repair. And um, and then you just say the shoe. I think that's a guy's brain. What's a guy gonna look up if he wants what to? What am I trying to fix? I need to fix this. My Birkenstock. Not that. I'm not yeah. looking for just any shoe. I want my shoe. Repairing Birkenstocks. Yeah, that's what I do. Right. I'm searching for something I'm pretty specific. That's it. Pacific about it. Now, when when you set up my first my website, the last website you did for me before we converted it, and we had my YouTube channel. Remember, you put those videos on my YouTube channel. They weren't up there for very long. They had very little views, but I already made two pennies. And the thing that it, I think I contributed to is that all of the ads that played before those videos were the Coco Chanel mm -hmm. ad, where it was actually like a little movie, a little a vignette, a movie. And so I think women, I watched them. Maybe you should like um, change the name of your show to what would Coco do? Ooh. Ooh, that's sassy. What would Coco do? She would smoke a cigarette for what sure. What would Coco do? <laughs> you could actually get a little slab I think that's an interesting question. Um, times were different there on YouTube, number one. Um, and um, I don't know, maybe figure, it's a tough, I don't know, I'm not an expert on it. I'm still figuring out how come the video that we put out that got half a million views didn't earn us a penny. See, now that's interesting too. It had 500,000, it still does, I haven't looked at it in a little while, but it had 500,000 views and it didn't earn anything. Right. Because the ads, you know, who's, who's advertising hula, the word, but people look it up. But where's the market in hula? So, you know, to me, that's uh, Nissan a... isn't looking for the word hula and, you know, um, whoever isn't looking for the word hula um, like in terms of advertising. I think that that is target. an older woman between the age of 60 and 80 that's Googling hula. Oh, no, I or think Japanese it's even. not, actually, by the comments that we've gotten. I, I don't think that. What was it? I think it's a younger generation who are interested in 
and um, was, was it was specifically beautiful hula dancers, and it wasn't uh, older folks at all. Although there was, a, a, you know, one older gentleman in particular. It's not like there's been thousands of comments, so it's easy for me to come Right. But mostly younger people who were like going, "That's you know," that, that had a response. And, Interesting. Um, I, I think that people are of all ages seem to be interested, but they're not looking for a product if they're looking for hula. Ah, uh, right. That's the thing. You know, well, where's the product? Well, that's supposed that. to be the, the most shopped market, right? So I would have things like, well, I, that's the thing. I think the ads are the wrong ads for the market. For if it's young, younger people, then it should be something like something really cool about hula that's tribal. That's but there's, but that, you can think about what the ad would be like, but that doesn't mean that those are the, that's who's participating right. in the market. So the best chance you have is when you're writing your descriptions and your tags to direct things, and in your conversations, because Google's re connecting those two, that the words that you use reflect the advertisers that you want. So like for me, I want. The Coco Chanel, well, even so the content of the video, like just to have a display of beautiful hula dancers, isn't enough to attract an advertiser, uh, per se. But if you were like teaching hula in a video as a dance, then hula dance lesson would probably get you a mint, and then you would right. also get the advertising or for about Juilliard or whoever. Sign up. You know. Three dollars for this online. So you you kind of have to if you want to look at it that way. You know, one way it's sort of an art form and just personal expression. Here we made this video about beautiful hula dancers, and the other way is I'm going to make a video that tries to target, you know, tries to generate revenue. Right. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you get to do a little bit of both, and and some and in a way overthinking of it kills it a little bit, you know. Like, yeah. But there is something strategic. Especially and when you're creating a lot. Video Joe, he is, I think, working with an older crowd of gentlemen who Google how to. They have more money in their pocket, possibly. They're, I've seen the ads, and he has these industrial, you know, ads, perfectly appropriate ads. And I bet that's what pays The him. demographic of a Dodge yeah. truck. And he'll get maybe 30,000 views on a video. What? Um, Holy cow! Well, we have about five more minutes. Four. Oh, that's right. We have at least the backup clock. Yeah. Um, so, um, actually, really, Siri, cover my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is there is some thing to figure out about it. It's not, you know. What is the shoe repair market in terms of the advertisers that attract? You know, a click. Well, it would be nice if the if the gentlemen are already there and they own nice shoes and they want to, they're interested about repairing them. It'd be nice if I had a buy this kit. It's different though. Uh, okay. And then, yeah. then they could just hit that one button. That might be it. Take some to my Amazon and Amazon. You can actually say this is a package. Yeah. And you can assign all those things to this, and it takes you right to it. In terms of your demographic, though, mm -hmm. Birkenstock is the clue. Because yeah, that's interesting. That's the clue, and so when you think of older gentlemen or whoever, that's not necessarily true, and 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 it's I don't think it's an older person who's using YouTube to to figure out how to do things. It's not older people are not like depending on the internet hmm, for solutions. It's a very good point. It's young people, and so it's a particular ilk of young person. And here's the clue. Just like hula is a clue, but there's not a lot of advertisers in the hula demographic. But what you did with Birkenstock is this. Let me gather my thought really quick here. Um, is is there? Are, it's the DIY demographic. And, and in particular, I'm thinking of people in Oregon who wear Birkenstocks who need to fix their shoe. People who wear Birkenstocks are people who garden on their own, who make their own, who are, just to go off, recycling, and stereotypically go, who's wearing Birkenstocks? And those are the people who want to fix things, who want to recycle, and, and they're doing it themselves. They're actually ooh, doing it themselves. They ooh, re ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that particular, but you can attract the others with, because your other shoe is a high end, different type of shoe and a whole different demographic. But in terms of where the advertising, like, you know, like that's the, 
Like, the video, it's I should so, sell the whole kit. It should be right there. You're going to get this, 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 for and this, this, and video, this. For this video, this package, this video right. required me to have this stuff. Yes, exactly. You could do that way. But also just recognizing that your key phrase, keywords are connected to the, the type of person is actually, and it's not just older people, it's people who are who love their product, number one, enough to want to fix it themselves at their own kitchen table or at a work, you know, whatever. They're, they determine that they want to take it into their own hands, and that's a particular person. It's not a person who likes disposable things. You're laughing. Why? Well, because that guy just grunted downstairs. Oh. I was like, that was its own. Button. Oh, oh. <laughs> grunt, <laughs> homeless grunt. <laughs> Is that a homeless grunt? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's wrap it up. Um, hey, there we are. This is the end. Right. Um, well. But actually. <laughs> First guy whistling at me in there. Did you hear it? I think that was for me. <laughs> um, yeah, so next week, this is fun. Next week. Next week, this is fun because this week it really wasn't that much fun at all. I could have been a lot more entertained. Um, all right. <laughs>